everybody! Welcome to Super Bauchi Kitchen and I'm making you tonight a different one which is a very sentimental snack for Asians and especially to my family when I was growing up. This was made by my mom almost every day and we used to bring them to school for our break time. So this is what we call the twisted donut. It can be Chinese twisted donut or siakoi, okay? So I'll give you all the details of the ingredients later, but in the meantime, this is the main ingredient. It is a two tablespoon sugar. And of course, we have the yeast here, the active dry yeast, which is one tablespoon. And we do have one cup of milk. This milk actually it's special because it is a half and half and it is an ultra pasteurized half and half. It's milk and cream so it's very delicious. And we do have one piece of egg. And of course, we have half a teaspoon of salt. You can use egg salt, you can use sea salt or whatever salt you like, okay? And we do have our two cups of all porpoise flour so this is a very simple dish we do have a batter here which is I use organic batter it is only one tablespoon we will be getting okay guys we're gonna start the bowl rolling shortly I'm gonna cut the butter here okay our butter is one tablespoon what we're gonna do first is melt the butter here so I prepared it the wok is already heating here so here's look at that she's already heating here perfect while waiting for the butter to melt we're gonna add our wet ingredients okay We're gonna put the milk here. Up. So look at the wok here. That's the butter. And we're gonna mix the one cup of organic half and half. The difference with the organic half and half, I always eat healthy food guys, so I put the organic ultra pasteurized because it's rich and creamy, okay? So look at that. I'm gonna mix them all together just like that and we will be adding our sugar once we add our sugar we're gonna stir give it a stir here until the sugar melted they mix all together I just do the medium heat see guys I just did the number six So we'll do a mix here quick. I'm gonna shut off the heat quick. I turn off the heat because it's already heating fast. And I'm gonna place our egg, or one piece of egg, okay? We actually don't need to, to cook them. We just need a lukewarm and mix it all together. See how pretty is that? So what we're mixing here is the egg, one piece of egg, one cup of organic milk, and also our sugar. Perfect. Here is we're gonna add our dry yeast, okay? So I'm gonna take her off there. We have our two tablespoon of yeast, active dry yeast. Give it a stir. And we have a leftover here, which is our salt. Don't. Okay, perfect. So we let it sit for like five to ten minutes until you smell the yeast. Actually, oh, it's smelling good. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. So we let it sit for like five to ten minutes until you smell the yeast actually oh it's smelling good okay perfect so the yeast will give it 
actually will make the dough rise awesome guys look at that so we'll let it sit there for a while and we can put the salt sprinkle it all there perfect and we're gonna cover it for five to ten minutes okay guys look at this this is our yeast already activated mix with the sugar the milk and also our salt and butter look at that smells so good she's she looks so she smells so good and very frothy look at that so what we're gonna do right now is with our two cups of flour we're gonna mix this here okay the secret of this one you have to mix them slowly okay guys until we will let this let this um, grow. Usually, I'll make this grow for like thirty minutes. But let's see how progressive is our dough here. Isn't that looking good? So creamy, and we did use the all-purpose flour. The trick of this one is make a one direction mix okay so that you'll grow fast very simple ingredient of this snack this is very delicious and kids love this my son loved this a lot and I love this too how she will grow and she will be wet I'll sprinkle a little I have an extra half a cup this is how dough is you see that guys Perfect. What I'm gonna do here right now, she's still kind of warm. The activated yeast was so frothy, guys. It's very, very smelling good and delicious already. I'm gonna let it sit here and cover this with our wrap, our plastic wrap. Usually, it's faster if you put this in a warm place but sometimes you can use your oven you bake your oven like put it into 80 and you turn it off and place this one that's a trick also of expediting the um, dough to rise but make sure it's closed it has to be closed in a different container if you put it in the oven so hi guys so look at our dough she actually gently rises look at that so what we're gonna do here after, it takes like 45 minutes to triple the size of the dough she has risen a lot look at this I just wash my hand finish it this is the dirty part we're gonna deflate her okay we have to deflate her you see that She still want to grow actually it depends on your time if you have another an hour but I think after deflating this I will let her sit like another 30 minutes and we'll start kneading the dough after that so let's see here let's observe the dough we're gonna put some flour here remember we have an extra flour earlier I set aside half a cup right then spread it out dirty part of having our twisted donuts okay and again this is super bouchy kitchen please click like there and subscribe for more videos for asian cuisine this is the favorite part of any baker actually we're gonna set to this side and we have here our tray and we have our scraper ready for preparing Okay. Look at this. So we're gonna need a dough here. 
secret of this is she has to be smooth. That's the main thing. Okay? So if your dough is not smooth and your table should be clean enough to make sure that everything is sanitary, okay? Look at that. We're gonna make it elongated like that so that we have to cut it balanced. This is a twisted donut, so she will be twisted shortly, okay? It's kind of like a rope, guys. We're gonna spread more flour here. This twisted donut never have an oil. If you notice, it was only butter. It was organic milk pasteurized to half and half, which is very healthy. Less calories, not much sugar. The sugar involved here is the flour, okay? And there was egg, very healthy. And of course, your yeast and our sugar and salt. Perfect. So we're going to play around with this for like two minutes until she's really very smooth. She's sticking on my hand. I just washed my hand with water. I didn't put any oil in it. So that's just the style of this donut, okay? Perfect. And I didn't prepare my deep fryer yet. Because once we just twisted her, we have to let her sit for like 10 minutes for another rising process she still needs to grow a little bit or to relax the tension okay so we're gonna give her attention shortly so let's see how many donuts we can make for the two cups of flour okay perfect she's so smooth okay i'm not starting to twist her which i have to divide her first equally so with our scraper, so we could kind of cut this equally. Perfect. Look at that. And we're gonna cut it again in the middle. That's adorable. There we go. We can make it more smaller, but I think my son and my husband. And I love also the bigger one. So we have one, two, four, we have eight donuts. You can actually make this bigger, guys, or smaller. It's up to you. But I match it with my deep fryer, okay? So what we're gonna do is we'll make one of each. Look at that. I'm gonna show you how I do the kneading of this. This is a special type of donut, it's twisted. Okay. We'll make sure the middle is a little slender, okay? So we'll make, we'll get a fulcrum there, it's in the middle. We'll make it slender. We'll twist it. And since it's twisted, this is the trick of this donut, okay? Okay. Kind of like a 8 inch long. 6 to 8 inch long. Okay, so we'll do a roll like that. Perfect, and she's slimmer now. Now, here's the trick. You're gonna find a center here. This is the center. She has to be slender, right? We're gonna do the opposite twisting. Here, we're gonna move this forward. Here, we're gonna move here towards myself, okay? So this is how it works. See that? There is tension already in the donut, starting in the middle. Sometimes you can even lift that up to make it slender. Okay. So, we're going to be careful because if she is so skinny as well, she will not persist with the tension, right? The main thing is there an opposite twi twist. The other is towards me, the other is towards the audience, okay? Towards you, my subscriber. Perfect. And if you notice that, we can do a twist, okay? See it, guys? And on the twist, 
at the edge of that, you're going to seal her. Okay? You're going to seal her at the end like that. Perfect. It's like you have to lock her here on the edge. And they should match equally. Okay? Perfect. So this one, I haven't done this for a long time, but it's really great if you can make a nice rope in this. Look at the twist. So this one you have to seal it so that it won't be broken. Because remember there was the edge in that? Perfect. Sometimes you can make it like that bigger. It's like the head. Okay. And that's it. So we're going to place it there. And we'll continue all these babies here. Awesome. Let's continue all these babies here. So there will be eight babies pretty soon you'll be seeing, okay guys? You can make this rice twice or two hours, but in between in every hour, that's the best one also. In between in every hour, you have to actually make her deflate so that she will be, it's like she will be healthy, you know what I mean? Okay. So we're going to twist it more. The tension here is the one that's creating the rope. Okay. So it's the tension really basically will give it the twist. You see that? So it's really perfect. See? That was quicker. Okay, there we go. That's the second baby right there. I'm going to finish this all eight of them. And we, the next part will be the deep frying and the eating time. Okay, guys. So, give me a moment to finish this. Hi, guys. Look at that. So, after we twisted the donuts, this looks. these are the eight babies. Two, four, six, eight. So we're going to cover here with a white wrapper again, with a plastic wrap. And we're going to let it set, sit for 10 minutes so that she will rest with all her tension. And we're going to be, I will be preparing the coating which is cinnamon and sugar. And I'll also be preparing my deep fryer because we're going to fry her for 350 degrees for just like three minutes okay so she's almost ready we'll just wait for 10 minutes let her sit all the tension and subside there and we'll be frying her shortly sugar ready the reason why we use this baggie is we have to shake her like that okay so we're gonna be deep frying her for three to five minutes it looks like they're all relaxed now so i'll be right back with you once we finish deep frying this guys okay I'll show you the finished product. They're going to be so gorgeous and tasty. Okay, look at that. So look at that. They're already on a deep fryer of 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's perfect. We're going to deep fry them for like 3 to 5 minutes. Until they be golden brown. Okay guys, I'll be right back with you for the finished product. So look at that, look at those gorgeous twisted donuts, we're shaking it actually. So we usually just shake and close that. You can do it freely whatever style you want. My husband is just, it's, it's shaking them. Look at how gorgeous they are. Right guys? So those are cinnamon and sugar. We'll be right back with you with everything. We're just showing you all the steps, okay? This is Super Bouchy Kitchen. Hey guys, so this is our final product. 
Look at the byproduct of just two cups of flour. Look at our twisted donuts. It's Asian twisted donuts. We call it siakoi or shakoi or it's Asian twisted donuts. Look at those eight babies here. They look so delicious. You see that guys? It is amazing. Again, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget for the next videos, click like and subscribe and we'll show you more whatever you want request us send us an email and thank you guys enjoy your donuts grab some for your family and for your kids it's amazing the topping you can change it you can make it an option with glazed chocolate you can make it different um toppings as well but this is sugar only a white sugar and cinnamon again this is super bouchy kitchen thank you guys